what's going on folks ST here and today we're going to be looking at a pod system I know it I don't want to hear it this one was sent to me a little bit late but I'm still going to get a review done on it today we are going to be looking at the Vapresso Renova Zero Pod System yes I know long word but this one was sent to me for the purpose of this review so let's go down see what you're going to get in the box check it out we're going to come back up top vape on it and then i'm going to give you my final thoughts so let's go down and take a look at this one all right so here is the packaging that the zero comes in as you can see renova powered by vaporesso i'm guessing that this is a sister company or i don't know if vaporesso owns this or what i don't know the backstory on it and i'm not going to pretend like i do but they do work hand in hand so what are you going to get in the box? Of course you'll get the device itself. It does come with a pod. You're also going to get a micro USB charging cable. An empty bottle that you can use to fill your pod. You're going to get some literature. We'll show you battery and how to control the wattage. Warranty cards, user manual, all that good stuff right there. So the zero i really do like this pod right here but i guess i need to show you everything about it so this does house a 650 milliamp battery as you can see there is your charging port on the bottom pods are held in by magnet and they're pretty strong seem to have good size magnets on this one it is auto draw which you know I love that uh, you can control the wattage on this one this one will go from 9 watts up to 12 and a half this button right here does control that and also you would need to click it five times to turn the device on so let's go ahead and do that So you can see our device is on. So this has three different settings on it and it's pretty much color coded for your setting. So for your highest setting and to get to that, you want to click the button three times. Red indicates your lowest setting for wattage. Three times again. Green is your highest setting for your wattage. Click it three more times. Blue is going to be middle ways on it. Also, that is a battery indicator light. So as long as you're vaping on this and it's showing green, you've got a good charge. Blue starting to get down a little bit. Once you hit red, it's telling you, hey, put me on the charger. The pod on this one does hold two mils of juice and it has a push to fill type system which I really do like on this one I think out of all the pod systems so far they did it right on this so real easy to use all you'd want to do and I've come to find out also you don't have to use this bottle I have found multiple different bottles that will still work in this application but this is a nice one to have so in order to fill this all you need to do is is push your bottle right there push down a little squeeze your juice in and it'll go in I don't know how well my camera will pick that up but there is a plunger that gets pushed in there as you can see a little bit and you squeeze your bottle juice goes in and when you're done just pull the bottle back no little plugs you have to undo anything like that and I've been using this for a little while and I have not experienced any leaking or anything like that but I have experienced a little, you know, build up of time to time, you know, condensation, a little juice, stuff like that. But it's, I get that with every pod system. So it stays true to form in that fashion, not bad, but I have not experienced any like crazy leaking out of there. So it seems to be doing its job. It does have these pretty nice size tips. Uh, not real wide or anything like that 
I don't really care for some of these pod systems with these particular type tips. Some of them are just not comfortable, but I really do enjoy this one right here. Again, after you fill it, you just want to pop it in and you're good to go. Magnet strong. I don't really get any rattling or anything crazy out of it. All in all, pretty simple. Auto draw feature, which I love. So let's go back up top, vape on it, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, and we're back. You know what time it is. Nice. I really do like the flavor off these. Pros and cons on this one. My only con that I had with this particular device, I did notice that some of, I've messed with two pods so far on this one. I did get some spit back on one of the pods and a little bit more than typically what I would get off of a pod. So I don't really know if that was just a bad pod or not. The other one I've been using seems to be acting all right, but like I said, I've only used two different pods with this one so far. If it's just the, a failure of the pod, I really got no beef with this one. I really do like the wattage where it is set on it. Um, I've heard some people say that it didn't really have enough in it. They didn't really feel like they were getting a good hit off of it. To me, I've actually found to get a real nice throat hit off of this one. Uh, you do get this one in a lot of colors too, and I'm not even going to sit here and try to memorize them. I'm going to read them off for you. So it comes in black, red, white, silver, rainbow, orange, green, blue, arctic blue, teal. So yes, you got a wide range of colors on it. Of course, this is the orange one. This is the one I've been using. Plus with the way that you can change uh, the wattage on it, for a lot of people, they are going to enjoy that. I typically keep mine on that highest setting, on that green. I like the most I can get out of it. Uh, battery life has been pretty good. The 650 milliamp battery on it. Uh, again, this is something I don't chain vape on, but I can typically get through a full day on the charge. does have that little Omni board in it from Vaporesso. So it's, it's pretty nice. It's built sturdy. It's not really heavy, but it feels like a quality little pod system, so not cheap at all. Magnets are good on it. No issues of the pod wanting to come off. Uh, you know, no rattling, no craziness going on with it. And the hit that I get off of it, it's, like I said, it's been a pretty nice experience with it. So all in all, this is a pretty good one. And for the price point, they're going for about 20 bucks. You can't beat that right there. And how can I forget the most important thing? If y'all follow me and know, I love pod systems with an auto draw, and that's what this one's about. You can't beat that auto draw. That is like, to me, that's what a pod system is about. I know a lot of these have the push button on them, but I'm, I'm just more drawn to the auto draw. So anyway, that's all I got on this one. Like I said, you got a lot of choices on colors. It's, it's definitely a good pod system. I know it's been out on the market for a while. Uh, I just, they sent it to me late. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have a good one.